Australia, man! <laughs> Look how many parts you got here! Yeah, man! <laughs> <laughs> you got heaps of stuff! So let's see how many down here, man! Suro, what's going on here? So you got, got any spare parts here? Yeah, I've got a couple. <laughs> have a look upstairs. Yeah, so you've got bikes here, man. Whoa! More bikes, more bikes, more bikes, more bikes. Whoa! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Suro, we've got many times. Parts in here. You're actually gonna go through all these boxes. There's a lot of interesting stuff here, man. Eh? And show every single box to you. Yeah, let's take a time. Don't worry, don't rush. Don't rush. Don't so this... rush. So let's show what we got here. What do we got? We got some foot peg brackets. So... People snap this thing like a consumable, right? Yeah, so... yeah. Seems to be a very popular fast moving item. <laughs> uh... How they do this? They're like, uh... I, I know, I managed to break some. Yeah. <laughs> They're quite popular then. Yeah, pretty popular. Foot pegs, foot peg brackets, that sort of stuff. All the little mounts. Seems to be fast moving sort of product. Yeah. People destroyed it. What's what's here? What's here? Suron Light B electric horn. Yeah, so we've got like the, a normal horn. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you get water inside. Replacement horn. What's this one here? These ones are DC converters. So we've uh, got the. Still wrapped in plastic, right? Still wrapped up, but it's the. It, oh, this one there. So DC DC converter. Oh yeah. Got a little Suron logo on there. So yeah. Suron three wire. Yeah. Three wire. Yeah. So. <laughs> what about that? What do we got? We got the, so what's this thing here? What's oh, this? Oh, DNM front fender for the DNM fork. Mm, I only works with DNM fork then. Yeah, yeah. They got the the fixings for the mount. So mm. factory on the X version and the L1E. What's this? What's this? Ah. Oh. This is swing arm, so the rear swing arm. Mm, some people manage to break them doing backflips, right? Yeah, backflips or flat landings and stuff like that. I think um, I broke a few of the early ones, but this is the revised version and they feel a bit heavier, so hopefully they're stronger. Yeah, what's this? What's it? What's over here? Uh, this is a new front fender for the RST fork. Mm. It's a bit of a Chinese origami. You got to do a bit of folding and stuff. <laughs> uh, is that good? Suron logo. You get the Suron logo and you get the autograph by Dragon. So, <laughs> so what about here? Trottle, trottle. Trottle box. Yeah, yeah. So the whole whole box for the original X version bikes. So now they're actually changing this. Yeah, yeah, direct electronic from the grip. So Because this one used to be front handlebar, cable pull, all yeah. the way to this box, from this box to the motor controller, right? Yeah, this box was mechanically act actuated, so. And some people complain they got mud inside yeah. and some, something happened. So they're going full full electric now, straight from the grip. So. Full electric, not mechanical yeah. parts, man. What's over here? This one is the Light V rear fender, the little one that sits behind your seat. All right, yeah. So, yeah, if you... Get a bit of whiskey throttle and do a backflip. You might um, need to replace Crash this one thing. of these. Yeah, mm, so nice, so consumable. Consumable. Yeah. <laughs> What's so, this stuff here? The primary transmission chain, chain drive. Yeah, so this one converts the motor motor drive. It's to chain. belt. The, the front factory is actually belt, right? Factory primary drives belt. This converts it to chain, so a lot more heavy duty, a lot more robust. For like a really muddy, like a muddy and gnarly sort of conditions where you're really abusing the belt, so. Belt's okay for road and clean sort of um, terrain, but for off-road stuff, the chain is highly recommended. So, all right. So this makes the bike a little bit louder, right? So like definitely more louder, right? but a lot stronger and um, a bit more reliable. So what's this? Yeah, this is just inner the inner tubes. tubes. The inner nothing, tubes. Nothing too special, but another one that's pretty popular. So we keep plenty of tubes in stock. What's over here? New plastic parts from Suron. So ah, um, finally, woo! <laughs> so hang on, you actually spent quite a lot of money making these things on your own, right? Do this it. is before they start selling the chain guards, Yeah, right? so this is the chain guard that we went to the effort of making. 
then we had it with our logo lasered in and then we found out that Suan already has a mold and everything so for how much a lot cheaper yeah i've made a, a mold of the rear chain guard myself and i've been running the mud the shock mud flap for a while now so mm. this is the factory molded part from Suan integrates into the bike like this protects your rear shock and because yeah normally you get the rear shock covered in mud right yeah yeah you pretty much sandblast the thing so <laughs> and this right protect the chain and look after the shock at the same time so that's a good um good, good, good little good. upgrade that's standard on the new bike so ah so it just comes with the new bikes now with the new bikes it's factory fitted you can upgrade it onto any other old bike existing. what's over here Suron Light B seat assembly. So. Ah! <laughs> I destroyed two seats. I destroyed one of your bikes. Yeah, yeah. I well, can pay you, man. No worries. It's, it's very soft, <laughs> this one. It's nice. So mm. Very, very cozy. So it's, 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 so it's nice in your bum. Yeah, yeah. Everybody likes this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Alright, so what, what's over here? What's over here? What do we got here? We got indicators for our L1E. So. Oh, the indicator lights. Yeah, Ooh. very nice. Very they're actually nice. kind of cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're pretty compact somewhat flexible and um so they're, they're not cheap enough they're actually nice no, no, and they're, 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 so they're, decent yeah they're pretty decent because i remember looking the bike is actually like a, it feels solid doesn't yeah. feel like flimsy eBay. No, no. e4 certified so they're um, certified so they need to be compliant they, it's a quality product so it's like a honda stuff like yeah, 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 need, yeah. need to pass some quality standards definitely definitely what's over here seat frame assembly so this is just another light piece seat this is possibly the earlier version so it's probably for aussies who don't sit down that much <laughs> <laughs> all right so what do we got here battery compartment lock and ignition lock so oh, a few people lose the keys yeah so you need a replacement lock set we can organize that it's not um not a big deal no just straightforward so if you've lost your keys and you need replacement we can get the new barrels and stuff sorted out nice. no trouble. what's over here all right so what do we got here sprockets so this is the secondary sprocket, the 14 tooth mm. on the secondary side. So this is your your standard chain drive. So that, that, that one goes to the wheel, like from here, go, connects to the rear wheel. Yeah, so this is on the right hand side of the jack shaft. So it's belt driven on the other side from factory. And then outputs to your main, main secondary sprocket. Three options here. Yeah, so we've got, so there's your little secondary output. So we've got 42 tooth which is your supermoto wheel set, 48 tooth, which is 19 inch X version L1E, and then we've got the optional 58 tooth. Wow, look the difference in size, man. Yeah. Woo! Alrighty. All right, let's keep on going here. <laughs> All right. well, what's in this box here? Tail lamps. That's the L1E tail light. Mm. Then we got reflectors. People manage to break these things too. Yeah, people break all sorts of stuff. Maybe someone runs in the back of your nice quiet bike. <laughs> oh yeah, the metal police. Mounting bracket and stuff. So, mm. what's over here? Uh, so this is pretty pretty cool. This is the rear hub, the unique hub to the Suron. So very popular. Very popular. We send lots overseas to the US. You say? Yeah, a lot of guys in the states. There's a guy Wicked Wheel Works likes to build a lot of wheels. So. So oh. Oh. Waffle wiring harness, so oh, this is gold, man. Yeah, so this is gold. This one is this is actually an L1E wiring harness. Oh, it's got extra, it's extra got, stuff. You like can the, see the flasher can there for the lights and stuff. So, this mm. is yeah, it's got a little loom that runs out to your tail light harness as well. So, this is all your lights up the front. You got your blinkers, um, these are the connectors for the different speedo the l1e has so you actually upgrade a document uh explaining every single wire here we we spent some time yeah making a documentation <laughs> some people are getting these and converting their x version to have all the lights and other bits and pieces so mm. that's pretty cool what's over here what have we got we got the x version speedometers oh yeah tiny little one yeah, yeah. the little one and, and the l1e speedometer as well so that's the bigger one I was talking about. So that's mm, the, yeah, the, yeah. the the road legal spec. So yeah, that's pretty cool. What's over here? Shop foot guards. So a few people. Oh yeah, so they might they, need these for their forks. Just replacement stuff. Straight. Forward. People break everything. Eh? Yeah, man. Spokes. <laughs> Spokes are pretty common. So you get 
lots of spokes in stock. We've got fronts and rears, they're the different lengths. Mm -hmm. These are the ones with the bigger revised nipples. They've grown their nipples over the last couple of years, which is cool. Improving, improving. improving. They're good. Chains, there's a couple of chains here. We've got the... It's different types of chains? Yeah, so we've got the standard chain and we've got the O-ring chain. So this one is stronger? Stronger, quieter, less maintenance, um, but yeah. Heavier. Heavier. Well. A lot, lot more stuff. Like a motorcycle. 42 to, so there's the shorter chain for the super motor wheel sets. Yeah. Yeah, we've got the rear wheel. Oh, yeah, the a, little adjust, uh, The little adjusting spaces for... Um, Moving, like a chain tension. Yeah, tension. chain tensioning device. This is Rim bands. Oh, yeah, yeah. The and rims. So it's a bit X version front number board. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah the handlebar yeah. Yeah. What have we got here? Oh, we got belts. Uh, primary drive belts. Mm. Lots of people destroy their belts or don't maintain them very well. So they get dirt and some yeah. rocks inside it. <laughs> we got big pulleys. Pulleys might get damaged as well if you're not cleaning the bike properly. What else we got? We got the little pulleys. Motor sprockets. Oh, a tiny little one, yeah, yeah. 13 tooth off the motor, so that's if you chain drive off the motor, not belt drive. Mm. If you belt drive, you've got this little boy. Is that the upgraded kit? No, no, that's the that's the factory factory small belt pulley off the motor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's your jack shaft. Mm. So that sits in the pivot of the swing arm, so. You have your belt drive pulley here and your small sprocket on the outside. Mm. Yeah, we've got them. What else we got here? We've got side stand safety sensor. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the kickstand. So yeah. that's the little reed switch that. Um, the magnet uh, yeah, touch. Stops the bike from running while the stand's down so you can't. Um, safety, safety. Clip it or hurt yourself. Yeah. What else we got? Circuit breakers. Yeah, they're really important, man. Yeah, must be safety don't, switch. Don't or... destroy your connectors as well. Every time you plug in them, plug yeah. in the battery. They call, they call it an air switch. Oh, this is, so this is the new tapered headset bearings. Oh, the people used to complain. Oh, my headset yeah. Yeah, bearings, blah, blah, blah. So the new ones are really nice with the, the tapered bearing in the cup, just like a motorcycle. So very serviceable. You can pull them apart, repack them, and that sort of thing, which is really cool. So. Ooh. Oh, you got heaps of here. Yeah, we've got plenty of bearings and we've got the upper and lower cups as well so you can convert your um convert your existing headset to the new version. So mm. they got the really deep cups to sit the tapered bearings in, so Ooh, yeah. Pretty cool. People are gonna love this. Yeah man, so upgrading. Lots of people been asking about that, so now we've got them in. Rotors, so we've got plenty of rotors, the the Suron rear rotor is very unique because of its PCD, so... Oh, it's got different stuff. Different size. I think it's 55mm PCD, whereas the standard is only 44 so... Mm -hmm. There's the little standard one, and then there's the rear, so... Mm -hmm. Plenty of rotors in stock. What else? What else? We got What's this? Uh, the Sport and Eco switches. That's for the off-road bike. That's for the X version. And then there's the O1E, so the O1E's got like the a blinkers, motorcycle. the blinkers and the speed switch incorporated. The so. horn, beep, beep. Yeah, it's got everything there, so that's cool. Yeah. What have we got here? What have we got here? we got axles. This is pretty funny. So lots of people lose their caps on these axles on the DNM fork. Mm. Um, well, how? Highly advised to lock tight these when you do them up. Um, Otherwise, you just ride the bike and when you realize it's gone. Yeah, we get lots of people going, oh, can you just sell the cap? Unfortunately, we can't just buy the cap. Right. We can buy lots of axles, so <laughs> we've got Plenty. bags full of axles, yeah. all ready to go. So that's the DNM axle. We've also got this is the RST axle. I can tell because it's got the the coarse thread with the left hand lock nut. Mm -hmm. And what else we got? Front wheel spaces. A lot of people lose the front wheel spaces. Oh, all, yeah. their, all their bike is delivered from Segway with them falling out of the box. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, this is a fast ace front axle. You can tell by the hex nuts on either end. So, yeah, we've got them. Kickstand springs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who sells these things? Yeah, so, you got it stuck. Yeah, we've got them. <laughs> everything, uh, everything. What else? Uh, this is this is the, the bolt that goes through the swing arm pivot. Oh, right. 
Uh, it's got a special tool here for this, is it? Yeah, we've got a, the special socket for this bolt as well, but I found that after a lot of jumping, I've been a few of these um, really? actual bolts, and we've had a few people say the same thing. So if you struggle to get the bolt out when you're doing a belt or doing some bearings or something, check the trueness of this. If you find that the thing's bent, get a new uh... Good time to replace it instead of belting it back in whilst it's crooked. Mm. Um, what do we got here? Grips, man. So yeah, we've got grips. And... Oh! Oh, yeah, this definitely get destroyed. Throttle tube, this stuff happens all the time. Mm. So, yeah, so consumable, yeah, consumable. Consumable, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you let your mates ride your bike. Uh, throttle <laughs> cables, so the old school, which is still current on a lot of the bikes. The throttle cable. And we've got the metal housing as well that goes with it, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the little part for the butterfly everything, in there as Every well, little so. part in the bike, pretty much. The every little bike. part is available, so. We try and stock whatever we can. So there's the brake sets here, man. So this is like a there's a original black caliper. So that's like a non X version uh, brake set. We got the gold squeaky brake pads. Are they stronger? Like a like a yeah yeah scented scented metal brake pads. So uh, better stopping power. Yeah. Oh. Lots of power, so. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this one's all right. So this one's for some reason pretty popular too. The brake caliper bracket. Um, oh yeah, for the rear wheel. Yeah, yeah, rear wheel brake caliper bracket. You can see what, um, oh, it doesn't say it there, but that's what it is. Um, X version brake sets, so complete brake sets. That one's for a rear. It's got so you don't need to bleed, you just replace the whole lot. Yeah, direct. Because some people don't like bleeding. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, a few people struggle with that sort of stuff. So. Right, so, oh, yeah, so rear wheel setback bushing. So the spaces for the rear wheels. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't know if people are losing them or damaging them or whatever, but they're different from side to side. So and they sell. <laughs> yep, and people want them. So. <laughs> so got those. What else we got? We got uh, spare caliper brackets and front hose guides. So they're just spare parts left over from assemblies. What do we got here? We got the L1E mirrors. Oh, the mirrors! Yeah, very mirror important. Mounting brackets. So there's yeah. a little bar mount for your mirrors. And the mirror there. Yeah. Coming, coming, coming. Yeah. So yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Alrighty. So what's over here? So this is a bit of suspension stuff. So we've got the rocker, oh. the rocker arm, and the linkage triangle. So. So that's why the guys in New Zealand, low in tech, tip and braking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jed, they're doing backflips. Yeah, yeah, backflips and serious sort of landings. I think Jed gave me four buckled ones of those, and I mm. think there was one broken rocker. So. Yeah. <laughs> we keep those in stock for people who. Headlights. Test the limits. So headlights. Got, so this is the X version headlight bracket. So that mounts. On the top of the handlebars, there's your little X-version headlight mounts there. This is the L1E headlight mounting bracket. So this mm -hmm. mounts... Oh yeah, it holds them a much bigger light. Yeah. This mounts on the top of the front of the, the front of the DNM fork. Your speedo mounts on that and then the L1E side brackets and headlamp bolt in the middle here. And so. the, the indicators on the side or not? Indicators are mounted on that trim panel as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. What else is going in this box? This. So there's the brackets, they're the brackets that mount on the side, so the headlight brackets. Oh yeah, for the sides of the, the lights, yep, yeah. so that's what it is, for the indicators. So what oh, yeah. so, and there's, there's the headlight. So oh that's, yeah, yeah. That's the L1E headlight, the big oval looking one, which is pretty cool. Yeah, we have one downstairs, okay, sure later. Yeah, and we've got some more brackets and stuff there for mounting the headlight. So yeah, that's what it looks like in there. Yeah. Light, got the light. <laughs> yeah, this, this one's pretty cool. So. These ones just arrived the other day. So we got the factory GPS device. GPS from Surong? Yeah. So, so how do you use them? So this is the factory fitted GPS. Fits in this location under the seat. Whoa! Plugs straight into the factory harness. But people say that they don't work in many, they only work in China. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna have to test it out. Something just arrived yesterday. So, so there's a guy in the UK who said it works in, work, he's been working in UK, right? Apparently works in UK. So we're gonna put a SIM card in here. And have a look. Test yeah. it, turn it on. So it's got a little so battery inside too. Yeah, yeah. Like a, what's it, what's it? Like any labels? 
lifting up here off the off the bike up to the Oh, motorbike. okay, all right. So I thought there was a little battery inside there. It may have a watch battery in as well, but the main power supply is for the, from the battery on the bike. So in China, it was factory fit. They didn't fit them on any export models, but we've got a few in so we can test them out. And so Jack, did they work in Australia? Uh, I'm sure it'll work. We're just gonna work out how we can monitor it. So you, you have you have an app or like a Suron app or something to use? There's a Suron app that we can use. I just don't know if the if it brings up Australia or if it brings up China or not. I've seen it. Is that work, in Chinese or? I've seen it work in China. It's definitely in Chinese. I don't know. <laughs> they may have updated the software now for Australia. I'm not sure, but. So this is the headlight for the. That's the X version headlight. So yeah. That's had a bit of a facelift as well with the little. The little oh yeah. The nice. little eyes. Yeah, so it looks, looks much better now. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, we've got that. Get it in there. So in here we've got the L1E rear fender. So that's the... Oh yeah, that's the that's one that goes at the wheel. Yeah, so that's the big one. And we've got the, the, the mounting brackets. Oh yeah, yeah. Off, yeah. off the rear axle. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Got the registration number plate. Yeah, number plate and power light and everything mounts off the back as well. So a, yeah. What's in here? We've got springs. Springs, yeah. man. Bouncy. Springs. And we've got... What have we got in here? Very shocking here. Yeah, fast yeah. ace. <laughs> fast ace rear shock. So that's fitted to the factory original bikes prior to the X version. So we got one of them. And we got heaps of tires, man. So heaps of tires, man. What's so, going on here? So, <laughs> so this is a 26 inch for our custom made front wheel. That's pretty popular. This is the standard 19 inch Suron rear, front and rear. Front and rear the same size. Front and rear the same size. Yeah, oh, that's why you got heaps here, man. Yeah, so oh. that's the most popular product to move, the tires. Because they keep... <laughs> 17 inch Supermoto. I installed this another day. It was actually super easy, man. Super easy. It comes with the chain, new chain, new sprocket, everything, yeah? Comes with everything. <laughs> this Even is... pumped to the, uh, <laughs> the right pressure. Yeah. <laughs> this is the 17 inch. This is off the youth bike. So this is the kids size tires. So put next to normal normal tire. So yeah. A bit smaller. I think it drops a seat about 50 mil on the youth bike. So good for that's kids. Pretty cool. Yeah. And, and then what's this other tire here? It looks a bit different. This is the optional Suron dual sport tire. So All terrain stuff. 19 inch by 2.5, bit more road like. Is this a new new option the, the giving out or they always have that? Uh, it's something I found in the catalog, so I just thought I'd order some. So. Mm. We've, got, we've got a few in there ready to go. Yeah, I think we covered. Ah, oh, this uh, the shock is here. The, oh, yeah, uh, forks. So we've forks. Got fast ace complete forks we've got a bunch of legs only so people have already got the triple clamp and they just need new legs we can do that dnm fork dnm fork rst fork more plastic parts rear wheel front fender rims 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 19 inch xl rims so we've custom built a few motocross rims for people we've got so. more stuff here right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, I got a custom flash plate, so uh, stainless, aluminium, and we got the, the little rubber foam block that goes in there to protect your motor. We got the factory thin black aluminium bash plate from Suron. Yeah, so this is a lot stronger. Which one is the strongest? Maybe the aluminium with the reinforcement? Uh, the aluminium is the thickest, three millimeters. And it's got the reinforcement here, right? Yeah, well designed this one, so. This one's got the extra bracing down here on the bottom leg. The factory one is... Um... So why people uh, normally like bend this thing? So these ones seem to cave in there because there's no strength attaching this point to where the fixing is. So this stays strong, but this cops all the beating. So we tried to make this one stronger. So we've gusted it and braced it here. We've also given it a return on the back. So it keeps it a lot stronger across here and reinforced off the mount as well. So it's all TIG welded. TIG welded by Groove Rider Fabricator. Oh, so yeah. three millimeter aluminium, um, beautifully folded and laser cut. Oh, it's actually water cut to be honest. So yeah. Groove Rider is a drag racing builder, right? Yeah, he's built a few race cars over the years. So few. <laughs> just a few. So over the last 20 years. Yeah, <laughs> at least if not longer. So what else we got? We got battery chargers, charger, We've got motors, 
Motor, motor, motor. That's the motor and the controller without all the chain and all the noisy things. So this is just a, the electrical noise here, pretty much, right? <laughs> it's only four amps. Four amps, so this hook. That's my clamp meter we're measuring here. <laughs> Motor, motor, motor. These are all batteries, so these are all Suron batteries. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we've got batteries in People store. want to get some spare batteries. Yeah, man, spare batteries or replacement batteries, whatever you need, more range. Mm. Yeah, we've got some controllers. We've got our hydraulic brake hoses for doing the, oh, yeah, yeah. the conversion. So these ones are actually APR certified. Mmm, oh, so they were a lot thicker. Wow. Yeah, double braided, crimped fittings, beautifully made. Yeah, like a proper motorcycle stuff, yeah. Federal Motor Vehicle Standards 106. So that's the standard that it has to meet for Australian design rules. So if so. you got like a road legal bike that doesn't have this, is Non-compliant. <laughs> to not say illegal. <laughs> so yeah, man. Alrighty. Oh good, we've got some conversion kits for people who want to convert. Convert your X version over to an L1E light B conversion kit. So we've got a list of parts, we've got oh, the so schematics and everything. That. So you can convert all your parts and we're putting kits together because a lot of people say, oh, why oh. didn't you tell me you're getting the bikes road legal? Oh, I bought an X version. So <laughs> we can help you out if you want. So if you want to do all the work, bring it back. We can um, help you out. So yeah. <laughs> Let's go downstairs there. Let's yeah, finish. Man. All done. Okay, so if you need parts, hit us up. And if I miss something and you want it, let us know and we can order it for you. Ah, uh, Suraj Trader, man! Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good, good buddy, man. Just need Suraj Power, man. Uh, Suraj Power! <laughs>